Hey YouTube, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And this episode, it's going to be all about sneakers. In fact, I'm going to give you guys my on-feet review of the Adidas Alpha Boost. Let's go! If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. We have four ongoing giveaways. We're giving away a Nike off-white shirt. We're giving away a Redmi Note 7 smartphone. We're giving away a bag full of gadgets worth 10,000 pesos and more. All you guys have to do to be able to join the giveaway, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, and hit the notification bell. Oh, and we're also giving away a bunch of Harry Potter van sneakers. The links to all of the giveaways, all four, can be found in the description box. So click the link so that you can watch the videos with the mechanics for each giveaway. I firmly believe that the Adidas Alpha Bounce Beyond is one of the most underrated sneakers mainly because it's constantly overlooked because it doesn't have Boost. Boost, of course, to those of you know, is the latest technology by Adidas which they use for the cushioning of the midsole of the shoe. It delivers exceptional, well, comfort and cushioning and all-around stability for your foot. And that's the reason why I think when people look at the Alpha Bounce, they kind of look at it as like the poor brother to any Boost-related sneaker. But that's not really the case because the Alpha Bounce is a pretty sick shoe. In fact, I did a review on this. You guys can check it out. The link can be found down below. Now, Adidas probably heard everybody complaining and they finally came out with a hybrid. This is the Adidas Alpha Boost. And as the name implies, it is a combination of the Alpha Bounce stripped with the Bounce technology for the midsole and replaced with the Boost technology that we've come to love with the Adidas Ultra Boost, NMD, and a bunch of other sneakers. Now, the question is, by combining Boost technology with the Alpha Bounce, like maybe like upper or structure or silhouette, do you get the better shoe? Do you get a nice performance or a lifestyle sneaker? That's what we'll answer today. In a sentence, the Adidas Alpha Boost is foremost a performance sneaker. It's amazing for gym workouts. It's amazing for speed training. It's amazing for all around training inside the gym. After that, it can also do well as an athleisure shoe, but that is just secondary. First and foremost, primary, it is a performance shoe. Why is this sneaker an amazing performance or workout sneaker? Number one, it has a lot to do with the stability. And there are two major factors to it. First off, if you take a look at the outsole, you see those orange pods over there. Those are stability pods. And what happens is if you try to like twist the shoe, it, rem it remains firm, it remains stable. It doesn't easily move left and right. Secondly, you see the boost stack over here along the lateral and the medial side. It doesn't mean that when you put your foot in, you're actually sitting on all of that boost. In fact, this boost and this boost cradles your feet in between. So imagine some sort of like cup. This is boost, this is boost, your feet is in between. That is the function of the boost on both the lateral and the medial side, cradling your feet inside of it and keeping it stable locked down and firm. Those two technologies or features combined ensure that if you're doing, I don't know, like squats, if you're doing uh, like side to side movements, your feet will stay in place. And that I think is one of the reasons why this is currently my favorite workout shoe as well as my wife's favorite workout sneaker. Now, one more thing that I love about it is the breathable light mesh upper. So you get a lot of ventilation in the shoe. So your feet will not feel like super warm after a good workout session. Something that you usually suffer if you're wearing a Solar Boost or a Solar Glide sneaker. But with this one, the air passes through effortlessly, so you get that cooling and that ventilation, and you don't feel like super warm after the workout. Now, do I recommend it as a running shoe? I know that Adidas is marketing it still as a running sneaker, but this wouldn't be my first choice 
when it comes to running shoes. Both in, my wife and I agree that it is kind of heavy or it feels heavy compared to like running in Ultra Boost, Spear Boost, Reacts, or other types of sneakers. So personally, I wouldn't recommend it for running. But if it's you, if you're just looking for like you know simple cardio while doing workouts in the gyms and you're not going for like mega marathons, I think this will do really well. Now the second thing about it, of course, is the athleisure angle. When you say athleisure, it's a lifestyle lifestyle casual shoe and there are like several points about it that you guys have to take into consideration first point it is in cooperation with parley for the oceans so the upper is actually made out of recycled plastics from the ocean so if you buy the sneaker you're actually supporting an environmental cause that adidas is championing in fact they're doing a lot of Adidas Oparli for the Oceans activities even here in the Philippines. They did a run for the Oceans activity where they gathered, where I, where I think every kilometer that was ran by people in the marathon, Adidas would give like money for some sort of charity, again, for the environment and for the oceans. So not only does it make you feel better, it removes the guilt of buying it, you're actually helping out the cause and it's a great talking piece if ever somebody asks you about it. Secondly, it is easy to style because of the color. Come on guys, at the end of the day, it's a black and white sneaker. It's dominantly black for the upper, and then you have a white boost midsole. So whatever it is that you're wearing, be it jeans, be it shorts, be it joggers or sweatpants, it's easy to style. Now when it comes to comfort, it is not the best sneaker out there. When I say comfort, it means it's your everyday casual comfort vibe for your sneaker. You can still get better comfort out of Ultra Boosts. You can still get better comfort out of the EQTs, especially the 91, uh, 9118s or 9181s. I forgot which is the one. But yeah, the EQTs are still superior when it comes to comfort. Uh, that The reason why is because it kind of looks deceiving that it has like that giant boost stack. Again, because of this giant loop that you see here on the lateral and the medial side. And as I explained earlier, this is just meant to cradle. So your feet is actually in between between and not on top of that particular part of the boost. Apart from that, when Adidas made the boost for this particular shoe, it is dual density, which means it's a little bit more packed. It's a little bit stiffer, again, because it is meant to deliver you that stability, ground feel, and firmness. So do I recommend the Adidas Alpha Boost? If you are looking primarily for a gym workout sneaker, you're going to do mostly body weight training, you're going to do like, you know, basic weightlifting and just casual cardio, you know, like your typical basic runs, not like the super long marathons and mega runs. I think this will do really well for you guys, especially thinking of the price point of 6,500 pesos. However, if you are looking primarily for an athleisure or casual shoe, this might not be the best sneaker for you. There are a ton of alternatives that you guys might want to consider instead of this one at the same price point. We have the Nike Element, we have the Nike React Presto, we have the Nike Element React 55, we have the Adidas Night Jogger. That one's really nice. One of my favorite casual sneakers from Adidas. We have the Adidas ZX500 RM, and we even have like you could just even go for like a premium all white Air Force One for crying out loud. In short, if you are just looking for lifestyle shoes, there are better or more alternatives to pick from within the price range that will give you better style and overall well maybe i don't know like looks when it comes to sizing i would recommend that you guys go through to size unless you have super wide feet wherein you might want to go half a size up and that actually wraps up our review of the adidas alpha boost let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the sneaker I would love to hear from you guys. Before we end the vlog, two things. I just want to tell you guys a story. I dropped by Balenciaga over at Rockwell and I saw their new Balenciaga track glow in the dark trainer sneakers. It is crazy. It is like a chunky Balenciaga track sneaker. Color black upper, sleek black materials all over it, just like the Balenciaga track. And it had like some sort of green glow in the dark midsole it is just funky af but it is also pricey af sells for over sixty-five thousand pesos here in the philippines that's a thousand three hundred 
US dollars, approximately around that price range. But I kind of had fun with it, held it around, took some few pictures, brought it inside the cabinet to see the glow in the dark effect. And man, I really can't see myself wearing that. I cannot see the reason why I would wear that. But hey, if that's you, if you want to rock it, I just want to let you know that it is available over at Balenciaga. And now for our power up words of wisdom for the day. Guys, let me just remind you, your mistakes in the past will not determine your future. If you made mistakes in the past, it doesn't mean that you are a failure. It just means that you made mistakes, okay? I've made so many mistakes. I've failed so many times. I've disappointed so many people. But the the most important thing that I've learned in failing is that you really just have to learn the lessons so that you don't repeat them or if ever you will repeat them you'll repeat them just a few times and not a lot so it doesn't cause like permanent and damage that will constantly like ruin you so every time you fall every time you make a mistake it's not enough to get up and move forward you need to get up learn and then charge forward because without the learning without the reconciliation of what you shouldn't do you will be forever be haunted and stuck so again guys if you made a mistake it's not just about dusting yourself off and getting up it's also about analyzing and learning so that you know what you don't repeat in the future so if you are that person who's burdened with your past let me just tell you left it up to god Pray for it, learn your lessons, get the F up, and charge forward. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. As usual, peace, God bless, what's up, happy independence day, boom.